Hey everybody, it's Rob Holm with Northwest Fishing Reports. Behind me is the Brewster Pool. There's a ton of boats out there. Today we're fishing with Shane Moon of Moon's Guide Service, his wife Jill, Bobby Loomis, and Kimberly Loomis. And of course, Mike Carey's here. Keep watching, it's gonna be a fun show. <laughs> okay guys, when it comes to letting these things out, um, just make sure that it's not tangled up. Make sure everything rides in the water. Um, if you let them down too quick, they'll end up wrapping around each other. Um, so what we're going to do is we're going to drop these out real slow, pull the lever back, just slowly pull the line out. These front ones are going to put about 21 feet. Middle ones we're gonna do about 22 to 24, and the back ones will go a little bit further, but um, at least to start with. So go ahead and pull them out to the number on the reel. These Foby pole holders, if you grab it in the middle, lift up, roll forward. That's the easiest way to open them. Just right in the front side, roll forward. Put the trigger of the rod in there. Shut just like that, so that's fishing. So when a fish hits this, Sockeye, you're going to see it start going like that. Um, do not set hook on it. What I want you to do, and, and especially if you're sitting right next to the rod, don't grab it right off the bat either. I want to make sure there's pressure on there and not just like a, you know, just barely thumping at it. So as soon as, you know, as soon as they're kind of starting to bite pretty good, come over, just start reeling about like that. And all that's going to do is load up all the pressure on that rod. And then I want you to pick it up. And then it's straight up, straight up with the rod. And it's not a hook set, it's just straight up and get pressure seems like if we grab it too early, if we set hook, we'll end up pulling bigger, especially in the sockeye, we'll put a bigger hole in their mouth and the hooks will come out. So um, just kind of keep that in mind in the middle of the excitement. And this one can go all the way to the front. Jill, you want to grab that one? That one's ready. If it's a sockeye too, um, we'll fight it around the other rods. If it's a king, we'll probably have to have everybody jump up and grab rods and we'll get them out of the way. Because we won't be able to control where that fish goes. Alright, lift up, 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 up. Hey everyone, that's how you do it. <laughs> Start the day off. Sun's not even broken out of the sky yet. We got our first fish. Shane has all these rods up and running. Beautiful cookie cutter sockeye. Earlier this week, we were out fishing with Shane over on Lake Wenatchee. This guy is a little smaller than the ones we caught there, but I suspect the rest that come in are gonna be a bit bigger. But that's a beautiful fish. Got some nice chrome on it. We're gonna get some more. See if I can get around her. Somebody want to hold it just so I can get the Yeah. All right. Ready? Up. Nice one, Hiller. Go. <laughs> All right. Good start to the day, huh? <laughs>
Hogging the run. Jeez, Hillary. Yeah. Jeez. Does Hillary, anybody else catch a fish, Hillary? <laughs> <laughs> you snooze, you lose. <laughs> you sitting in your own chair. Maybe I want to sit in that chair. <laughs> Working. What was that, Mike? Yeah, I'm not snoozing. I was working. We're gonna catch some fish. That was a 30-pound right there. Okay, I didn't see that. <laughs> I forgot that I should get out of the game sometime. Jane, this is a really unique fishery. There's a certain uh, physical. Let me slip that over. Shane, this is a really unique fishery. The rivers dictate the fishing here, don't they? Yeah, definitely. So once the run gets here, um, we're looking for a thermal barrier to form on the Okanagan River, which will stop them from going up the river they're going to run up. So when that happens, each day a fish, new fish come in and they stack here. So they're, you know. Until we get some rain or cooler water, they're not going nowhere. So it just just keeps building fish every day. So yeah, definitely. And you'll notice we're doing small trolling circles, and that's why, isn't it? They're all yep. Really so ready we're to fishing stop. right at the mouth of the Okanagan, right where it comes into the Columbia, and they're just stacked out in the cooler, deeper water. Well, I'm impressed. You got six rods running. You're avoiding all these boats. So far. So far. <laughs> so far, it's so good. So keep it up. <laughs> All right, Mike. And lift up. Nice. Oh, that's a nice beauty. Nice. That's, that's a beauty. Nice. That's a beauty. That's a sweet fish. More sockeye fishing right after this. Never mind. Pretty good fight in Sockeye, huh? That is a good fight in Sockeye. Is that bigger than Sockeye? I... It's a Sockeye. It's a Sockeye, but it's a nice one. Oh, he got wrapped up. Lassoed. Oh, I seem to be hitting the little tiny guys. <laughs> Bobby, where's your fish? <laughs> what do you got, Bob? Oh, I've got uh, one of our uh, one of our uh, cha cha sockeye squitters that we use uh, for the sockeye fisheries around here. It's uh, basically set up with a, with a squid body, some of the beads, smile blade on top. And I'm going to run it a little bit longer than usual because I'm going to use the new uh, one of our new 5.8 inch uh, double D Dodgers. And it's not the big size that most everybody's using out here, but it's actually uh, the next size down, like our six inch. And this thing uh, has actually worked really well this year for us. So I thought I'd at least try one and see how uh, see how we do this morning. What is, what is it? I think you're 
<laughs> Lucky lady, what can I say? She's back! Perfect! The women are the yeah. fishermen on this boat. Yeah. <laughs> oh, <laughs> That's my line. Yeah. A little bit of a fish here. These are really fun to catch. Here we are, Shane. Yeah. All right. That's a great fish. Got that nice chartreuse smile blade. Yep. Chartreuse smile blade, and then you got a two aught hook on the top and about a size six treble hook on the bottom. And it seems like, you know, I'll get both and look at that treble hook in there if we can get his mouth open. It's sealed shut right now. I can't even get it open. Shane, uh, let's show the Shane. Let's show the viewers uh, a typical rig here for sockeye and booster. Okay. So I normally get rid of the downriggers when we fish up here. Um, we can fish more rods. Uh, you know, keep things fishing when it's hot a lot quicker. So I can. Um, we're running about a 24 inch to a 30 inch bumper um, to your main line to your dodger, and then your weight side will sit above it like that. And we're using about four to six ounces of weight. Behind that, we got a Max Lure Double D Dodger, and about, you know, we'll run anywhere from about 10 to 14 inches on a liter. Two red hooks, and we'll tip it with coon shrimp. Couple of course, the smile, smile blade, blade. and yeah. hoochies, um, white, green, pink, orange, red, any, any sort of color like that seems to work good. I'm noticing, too, your your line going from your weight to the dodger pretty heavy stuff yeah so i'll run about 80 pound test or more and that's a couple things it gives it stiffer makes it you know makes the twitch better it also gives us something to grab to lift a fish in it helps with tangles when you let out too quick if you get thinner line it'll tend to want to wrap where this stuff's a little easier to you know it stays straighter so um it, it definitely will help if you're getting tangled a lot when you're when you're dropping your gear to run a little heavier line line on the bumper going through a nice school right here Mike check it out oh that one decided to let go he didn't want to he didn't want to come up and see us Social distancing. Social distancing from the boat. It was probably the biggest sockeye we've had all day. <laughs> it was at 40. Huh? That one was at 40. Nice, Jill. Thanks. Look at that fish. Do we got a new Hillary? <laughs> The new hot rod. That's right. You can do it again. All right. Kimberly June. One you can't. Another. Don't move. <laughs> You're not allowed to move. Sockeye. Very nice. Sockeye and a stick. Yes. Hey everybody, we just dropped Mike Carey off at the dock. He's got to head back to the west side of Washington. We'll be back right after the break with the end of our day at Brewster, Washington with Shane Moon of Moon's Guide Service. Okay, so we changed out our weights because we have a little bit more current in here today and we're trying to keep our baits down a little bit lower. It's important when you're lead ball fishing that you have them on a slider. You see how that slides up and down? 
So if it gets caught in the net or anything like that, you don't lose the fish. You got a chance to get it out of the net. And uh, so we switched our, weight, our weights up so that we can keep our baits in the strike zone. And uh, here we go, let's give it a shot. Strike zone is gonna be where the fish are biting. <laughs> So we have a set number on our line counter reels, and that's the target that we're trying to get them to. If the water gets shallow, then we have to speed up like this to bring them up. But by having the right weight on there, it can really help. Shane, that didn't take very long. We just got back out here. Yeah, just dropped the rods in and picked up a fish. Same setup. Yep, same setup. Uh, we might run a little deeper now that the heat's starting. Okay. You know, starting to get a little warmer, so. Sure. Adjusting a little bit. To definitely, definitely. It doesn't hurt to. Are you watching your electronics as we go? Yeah, here watch, then? watch your sounder. Watch where you're marking them. You know, as the day goes on or boat traffic, sometimes they'll move down. You know, see where you're marking them, and that's where you want your gear to sit. So. Right on. This one. Uh -huh. Maybe when uh, Hillary got that bike. As the day progresses, it gets really hot out here, Shane. Yeah, it definitely does. You got a neat feature though on the boat here. Yeah, check out the misters. That's keeping us cool. So Shane, a lot of people throw these bellies out. What what is another option besides you know feeding the fish with bellies or? So bellies are great to smoke. They're great to eat. They're yeah high in fat. High in I mean they just got a good flavor, real oily and like for smoked fish, they're probably some of the best part of the fish. So Don't look at all that. that. Yeah, there's What's even on a little salt guy. There's a lot of meat there. So a lot of that oil, that's gonna burn off right when you smoke it? So yeah, definitely. Nope, it'll be good. It'll bring that flavor and stuff up to the surface of the, mm -hmm. of the fish. You and like it taking, permeates the whole thing. You like taking the bellies too and smoking them, don't you? Oh yeah, yeah. Wow, that was a fun time out there, Shane. Yeah, it was a good time. It gets a little hot out here. Definitely can, yeah. I wanna wrap up today with thanking Scuttlebutt Brewery for their support and Max Lure, Bobby Loomis. His wife, Kim, was able to join us. Your wife was out there today. Hillary was out on the water. That was a good time. It was a fun boat. So if people want to get a hold of you to do some fishing here at Brewster, you do Banks Lake, you do Lake Wenatchee, you do all kinds of stuff. How do they get a hold of you? So you can find us on Facebook at North Flight Waterfowl and Moon's Guide Service. You can give us a call at 509-860-2539 and you can find us on the web at moonsguideservice.com. All right, Shane, thanks for a great day on the water, man. Thank you, it's good to see you again. For Northwest Fishing Reports, I'm Rob Holman. We'll see you on the water. Uh, we need to be the other one. Are you trying to say you caught that fish? I'm telling. You just lost your director's credit. Yeah. <laughs> Quiet on the set. <laughs> Okay. And it wasn't because you have a brace on your arm either. You know, some people do this in this land. Ready? I'm gonna fix my hair. This is my good side. <laughs> Smaller than those ones, but. What do you ever do to you, Mike? I know. Earlier in the season, <clears throat> that's keeping us cool. All right, good pro trip. Uh, mm -hmm. Good pro. <laughs> yeah. I'll, I'll do a little intro here. You just gotta go, woo! Woo! <laughs> Brewster Sockeye, here we are. What a heck of a day, Shane. <laughs> Keep going, Shane, you can talk now. Okay. <laughs> As the day 
That's the day. But you definitely had it. Brewster! Stick the camera in her face in the perfect line. The women are the fishermen. Oh! I wanted to make sure I'd make this. That's right. Second language. Swamp people. Swamp people. Good pro tip. Once more, Mike. Good pro tip. Shane, <laughs> <laughs> how are you feeling? Doing good. Doing good? Yep. This is a fun day. I think, I think I got this. Yeah, you got this? Day. You're going to take it from here? Yep. No. <laughs> yeah. I just... <laughs> Speak some Spanglish. Do you know any Spanglish? So if people want to get a hold of you... Oh, no, no, we're not going to do it there. We're just going to be like... Woo. Right. Ready? We're done? You're gonna leave. I'm gonna scare him. What? You're gonna leave the <laughs> glitter and butterflies. Are you filming? Yes. Woo! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Wait for this all day. Yeah. Cheers. <laughs> Scuttlebutt. <laughs>